Well, powdery mildew. It's hit the squash. And it's only a matter of time before it hits those. We need to stop it. Hey, stop it now. Okay? How are you guys doing? So the powdery mildew has hit. And it's hit because it's been super duper rainy and super duper windy and really, really humid lately. Spores blew in and now it's infected my squash and it's only a matter of time before it hits my cucumbers. And I've been reading uh, online about uh, organic preventions, that type of thing. And there's a fascinating studies uh, that's been out lately that says that you can mix up some milk, uh, one part milk to nine parts water and spray the leaves and there's something in the proteins of the milk that prevents uh, the that's just inhospitable for powdery mildew so what I have there is I have those mixed up in those little containers and they still think they're spraying aphids <laughs> but it's completely safe it's it's natural um, I also did put a little bit of baking soda and maybe like a half a teaspoon and now they are spraying man they're going to town on these things what they don't know is, is I'm gonna pick the infested leaves off, and then we're gonna respray them. Let's get aphids. Let's get aphids. Let's get aphids. Why is that ready? Pop it. Okay. That's ready. What they don't know is, is I'm gonna pick off the infest infected leaves and all the growth that doesn't have any signs of a powdery mildew we're going to respray them and we're going to use this method as a prevention i'll put a couple of links down below one from organicgardening.com and another one that uh, shows uh, this is a method for prevention of powdery mildew also i'm going to spray my cucumbers so let's finish this up so these kids are going to town on this check this out the leaves are good and soaked down Ava, say hi. Hi, 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 hi. Kylie, say hi. Hi, hi, hi. Flop, say hi. Okay. So, got a couple of nice squash going on in here. Little yellow crookneck squash kicking on. Loving that. So, I'd like to preserve this plant for as long as possible, but every year we just get killed with this powdery mildew and it decimates the plant after a little while. So, I'm going to let the kids have some fun with this and then I'm going to do some pruning. Next up on the list is this cucumber trellis, and I'm going to soak that down real good too. Uh, and hopefully that will prevent it. Now this one is really resistant, that's an Asian dragon, and it's supposed to be really resistant to powdery mildew and things of that nature, but I'm going to spray them anyway. So. Ava's, it looks like Ava's done too, so looks like we squirted these off good. We got um, all the backs of the leaves soaked up pretty good. So hopefully um, that'll keep that powdery mildew at bay. Thank you, lady. And we'll see if this works. Uh, that's okay. So... You just want to fall on that plant, don't you? <laughs> All right, guys. Say bye to everyone. <laughs>